this is where we stopped. And this is where Travis jumped out. Yeah, the uh, the truck skidded to a stop here. Um, you know, Mike uh, was probably responding as much to me yelling as uh, as anybody else yelling. You know, I said stop the truck. Alan says it's a spaceship. You know, all everybody's yelling at once. So about really, it's all seemed simultaneous. And uh, right right up here in the clearing, outlined against the sky, was this metallic craft, just distinct as anything. This was not some little hazy, glowing ball of light off in the distance. This was, we could see that it was a vehicle as plain as anything. And it, it had this power to it and, and a very uh, awesome, fearful sort of feel to it. As soon as we stopped the truck, you know, I started hurrying towards it. It was, uh, it was uh, hovering just the other side of a pile of logging debris that was uh, placed in the middle of the clearing. They always put them in the middle of clearing so when they burn them it won't damage any trees. And uh, this craft was hovering in the clearing the other side of this pile of brush and so as I hurried towards it thinking that it was going to take off uh, before I got that close uh, I could see it wasn't leaving and I was getting a lot of second thoughts about what I was doing you know uh, because I was hearing more and more of this incredible sound that it was making. And plus, uh, Steve and the other guys in the truck were uh, saying, uh, you know, get away from there, get back in the truck. But, you know, I was looking up at it at about a 45 degree angle. And it was filling my whole view, you know, so it was probably at least 20 or 25 feet in diameter. But um, the the logging debris kept me from getting any closer, and I don't know that I'd wanted to, wanted to get much closer than that. I was looking up at it, and uh, it was just, it was so smooth. It was metallic in areas and glowing in some areas, and um, it, it was both giving off light and reflecting light at the same time. <coughs> Uh, like when you have the television on and there's some uh, light coming in the window, you can see the a window reflected on the screen at the same time you're watching what's on the TV. I could see the, the trees uh, reflected in this thing because it was so smooth and polished. And it was just awesome, you know. I don't know what, uh, how else to describe it. It's just, uh, uh, you know, yeah, I was entranced by it, but just the sight of this thing was just incredible but when it started to move and got louder then I ducked for cover and there was a log uh, sticking out of this pile of uh, logging debris and I got down behind that and they were saying get out of there get out of there get back in the truck and so I decided uh, you know long before that that I wanted to get out of there but uh, I decided to make a run for the truck and so when I stood up to sprint back to the truck, that at that moment, my head and chest were closest to it. And uh, that's when this energy came out of there and hit me. And it just felt like I'd been hit by a truck or something, you know. I had a very electrical shock sort of feeling, but I just almost immediately was unconscious. Well, when he stands up, it starts rocking back and forth and he's got a a beepy noise to it and a high pitch noise and that bluish green light came out and it zapped him and he flies back about 15 feet and he hits the ground kind of like bounces a little bit and just hits it and he's just lying there and that's what were you, what were you thinking at the time that happened? I thought the world was coming to an end